Hello there, ladies, gentlemen, and miscellaneous others that are too numerous to list. I am Evil Pikachu, not currently dressed as a Pikachu, because I would rather be dressed as, essentially, Miles Edgeworth while riding a flying pig. Why? Because why not? <laughs> yes, I have a flying pig now. Thank you, Pixie Beast Quest tribes. Um... I want to talk about something a little more serious than usual, and I know that uh, riding a flying pig while dressed as Miles Edgeworth is probably not helping matters, but need to offset the serious somehow. <laughs> I want to talk about the subject of gaming elitism and a lot of people's attitudes in this game of late, and why it's unfortunate that this is how things are going because it's starting to get irritating and it's always been a problem in uh, MMOs but it seems to be getting worse and that's the subject of elitism now what do I mean by that uh, basically how I would define it as people believing that because they've played for X amount of hours and they know whatever mechanics that somehow gives them the right to act like a total douche. Spoiler alert, it doesn't. Whether it's a digital world or the real world, you, there's no excuse for being a complete dick. So... So, what's making me talk about this today? Uh, basically, it was a, a raid that went wrong. And, well, things go wrong from time to time, especially when you're new. Everyone was new at some point, so if you're one of those players who, e who has ever said, oh, well, I didn't make that mistake, bullshit, yes, you did. At some point or another, you've made a, you've screwed up bad. So I know you don't want to admit it because you want everyone to think you're cool, but you did screw up and you're not cool. There, I just saved you decades of working on that ego. So, the raid that went wrong... Well, oh, it's the succubus teleporting in. Hello, succubus. <laughs> the raid that went wrong was Rathalos Extreme, the Monster Hunter crossover quest. Now, I've done the basic Rathalos. I've never fought the Extreme version before. Uh, when I unlocked it, the queue times were horrendous, so I just went and did something else. <laughs> and I said this. I explained to the group that I had done the basics, but not the current version, so I might be a little behind on the mechanics. That's fair, I gave them fair warning. So I, I can hold my own, I'm not a complete noob, I've been playing this game for hundreds of hours at this point, I'm not a complete idiot. So <laughs> but things went wrong, things always go wrong, it's the nature of this game. I. I know that people think that there's some magical combination of players and gear that will have everything running buttery smooth, but by all means send me footage if you've ever actually had that happen to you, because you're talking out your ass. <laughs> and, well, I was playing as my Dragoon, dressed as a Pikachu, same as always. And because I don't usually do group content, I'm usually running around solo. I didn't bother to have limit breaks set on the crossbar. Usually there's someone else in the group on the rare occasion that I'm part of a group that will use it, so I didn't see the point. It's like there's almost always a better time to use it than when I believe is appropriate. So that's simple, I just didn't have it equipped. So when people were shouting, use LB, use LB, I was going into the menu to use it. But because that took an extra, what, Five seconds. That was apparently the greatest sin a human being could ever commit. And I got booted from the party for that. Just straight up booted out of the duty. Didn't get any rewards, nothing. And first of all, it's not like nobody else made mistakes. I have footage saved to my hard drive of this raid, and I can watch the tank run into an AoE marker. Like, that's day one stuff. If you're at least level 70 to take on this raid, you should know better by now. <laughs> I, 
Like, that's not elitism, that's basic gaming knowledge. That, 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 that's basic human knowledge. Even cavemen figured this out. Fire hot, do not touch fire. It's a big orange puddle on the ground. He walked right into it. You're supposed to walk out of it, you muppet. <laughs> but they were acting like such douches over this. And I just find myself wondering, when did people become so thin-skinned? They're acting like the tiniest little mistake. I mean, bear in mind, you can continue throwing yourself at this Rathalos ad infinitum. You can die and respawn as many times as you like. Yeah, you've got to... If, you, if, if any team members die three times in total, you've got to start the thing from scratch. And that's mildly annoying. But... There's a guard of water there. Cool. <laughs> I see a lot of Pokemon-based players on this game. I'm starting to think I should form a... Uh, a league for us Pokemon players. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, as I was saying, before I was interrupted by a random guard of war out in the street, <laughs> I don't get to say that very often. Like, when I was a kid, when you made a mistake in a game, you laughed about it. You just went, ah, that sucks. Haha, <laughs> you died. Ah, oh, well, we'll try again. Nowadays, the slightest mistake is treated like you just took a big steamy piss on someone's sainted grandmother at an open casket funeral. Why is it so fucking serious to you people? Like, again, there is nothing stopping you just dusting yourself off going, alright, okay, they screwed up, let's, let's, uh, let's try that again from the top. But instead, it's easier for you to just kick people from the party because you think you're just going to roll the dice and get someone better. Like, you do know you've got an equal chance of getting someone even newer than me, right? <laughs> you do know that I was learning those mechanics. It's entirely possible that by kicking me from the group and starting again, you've just got someone who's never fought Rathalos EX and you're going to go have to do the whole process all over again. So, I don't get it. I, I don't get why people are such wusses about this. What's in it for you lot? Like, are you under the impression that there's some real world cash in value for your elite gaming skill? Because, well, my Dragoon and my Botanist are both level 80 and, well, so what? <laughs> yeah. Like, even if you've got all your classes up to 80, you've run every dungeon, every trial, every raid, every mechanic, you know everything about the game. So fucking what? It's a video game. Have fun with it. And people seem to treat everything like it's just soulless data entry work now. Like, it's just... Like it's become part of the routine. What do you ever get out of this? If you're not having fun with the game, then stop paying your subscription. Don't inflict your misery on the rest of us. I, 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 I get the impression that people are so desperate to build a brand and have strangers think they're cool, which, spoiler alert, we don't. We act like a dick. We don't think, oh, he must be super talented, I should be just like him. We think, wow, what a dick. <laughs> and they're just not having any sort of fun. They've got no soul left. Like, like, don't get me wrong, there are times where you have to take at least parts of this game seriously. But there's a difference between focusing and concentrating and just being psychotically, delusionally obsessed with this hypothetical perfect performance which has never happened in the entire history of mankind. So, I mean... Well, let's, say, let's say you do get your perfect playthrough, everything goes right, what are you going to do? Take that footage down to your local game store and swap it for a PlayStation 5? You're going to show up at their door and you're going to go, Hi, I'd like a PlayStation 5, please. Well, okay, that'll be 500 bucks or however much it costs in your region or whatever. 
Are you really going to say, oh, you don't seem to understand, sir. I'm the greatest Final Fantasy XIV player in the world, and I have the footage to prove it. Do you know what they'll say to you? Well, zippity fucking doodah for you, mate. It's still 500 bucks. Like, your gaming skills only make even the slightest bit of difference in the gaming world. And even then, it's marginal. And if you've completely forgotten what you're playing games for, then... Why does any of it matter? So, if you're one of these psychotically obsessed nerds who can't have any fun with the game because it's super serious business all the time, just log out. Go and do something fun. Go and take up knitting or something so you don't have to inflict your psychopathy on the rest of us. Because some of us still play games for a laugh. And we intend to continue doing that. So... I don't know, man. People are just... So desperate for attention these days. So desperate for clicks. So desperate for approval. You know you can just... Approve yourself, right? You don't need strangers to validate your existence. I mean, look at me. I call myself Evil Pikachu. I'm not taking this seriously. I don't take anything in life particularly seriously, unless there's a fire or in case there's some sort of problem in my relationship. Beyond that, it's all a laugh. Nobody makes it out alive, alive at the end anyway. So... Why are you taking it so, so seriously? Like, you think that... If you get it right, everyone will love you, and Mummy will stop drinking gin in the middle of the day to numb the pain of a dead marriage, and all the other shit, and all the other problems you've got going on. Gaming's supposed to distract you from that, not fix it completely. I've always thought of video games as... How can I put this? They're sort of like sealant for holes in the wall. Yeah. They'll fill cracks in your life. You can't build an entire life out of them. The same way you can seal a crack in a wall, but you can't build an entire wall out of sealant. Like, it's not going to hold up under any sort of scrutiny or pressure. So, if you are one of these people that takes games super duper serial and is a complete killjoy for everyone else. Go and do something else. Okay. And there's going to be a bunch of comments going, Oh, you don't pay my sub, you don't tell me how to play. You're right, I don't, but... By the same token, you don't pay my sub, don't tell me how to play. So... Stop acting like everything that everyone does is wrong, just because it's not what you do. I mean, who the hell are you? So... And yes, I know, this goes both ways. But here's the difference. I'm trying to have fun, the whole point of a video game. You are trying to suck fun out of the game. Literally the antithesis of the point of why everyone pays money for these games. So, just on any sort of objective level, who's right there? I mean, to each their own, I guess, but... Do you have to be so fucking... such a fucking downer? about everything. It just annoys me. It's, there's no reason to do it. You don't gain anything out of it. it it's, it's a net loss every time you do it because people think you're an idiot. Nobody's going to want to play with you. And there's even if you do get it right, there's, there's no advantage to you. So why are you doing that? So... Basically, what I want to boil this video down to is a simple message. Whether you're in the real world or the digital world, don't be a dick. Nobody likes a dick. Okay? And if you're one of these killjoys, whether it's in the real world or the digital world, you're a dick. <laughs> okay? We're here to have fun. Let us have some fucking fun. And... Nobody thinks you call cool for being a troll and being a dick. 
All right, I know the US elections might make you think that being a troll is a totally acceptable career choice, but it's not. So, that's basically my message for the day. Don't be a dick. Just play the game and have some fun. That's all that really matters at the end of the day. And if you're not having fun, then do something that means you are. I don't know, maybe play Fortnite if that's more your sort of thing. Do what you want, but don't inflict your misery on us. Anyway, I am going to go and uh, find that player named Gardevoir and see if they're interested in joining a free company named the Kanto League, because I've seen at least three other Pokemon named players around here. There's, there's, there's a girl around here called Bulbasaur or something. I'm desperate to find that one. <laughs> so I'm going to go and start my own free company and recruit Pokemon-based players, because... It sounds like a laugh, and why not? Because life does not need to be as serious as you make it. Like, look at me. I'm in a shiny red suit and a monocle with a pet succubus. Need to cuddle. So, that's it from me. I'm going to cuddle my pet succubus and go and start the Canto League. <laughs> I'll see you next time.